on Facebook for everything. So if you are looking for starseed information, all you have to do is type in starseed and you are going to get a long list. Um, this is where one of my favorite things to say, again, is use your discernment. Because one of the traps that a lot of people fall into is often you're coming from a place, some people call it the dark night of the soul, where everything sort of goes into upheaval. You've discovered there's all these new ideas and belief systems and information you've never had access to, and you just want to jump into it. And as that happens, your relationships start to change. You might lose friends. You might not feel like you can confide in your family, or you might have fear or discomfort that people are going to judge you because you're exploring these ideas or you're feeling an affinity of these ideas and you might not feel an affinity to your previous spiritual beliefs. And that's very challenging for people. Yeah. And so they, there's a tendency to jump into these groups. And I see two things happening consistently. One is people are like, what's my starseed origin? Um, or the other is they'll put a picture of their face and say, who am I? What's my origin? Read my aura. Right. And I think this is, this is, challenging because you want to connect with people and you're very excited to be there but on the other hand there's no filter you have no idea who's going to answer or what's coming through and is it true or not mm -hmm. true. so you really have to learn to a use your discernment and b really learn to trust your intuition and mm -hmm. your mind